56-year-old Martha Ferrell was among the four Indians killed in the Kabul attack last week. She lived and sacrificed her life for gender equality and women empowerment. She returned home a day early, but it was not the homecoming Martha Farrell's family and friends expected. Once we went to uh, Bamyan in connection, of, uh, in connection with the field work, so when we were coming back, and it's a usual friendly conversation that uh, we have never been in UN helicopter, so now we have been in UN helicopter. Now, we, we, have, we have never been in defense helicopter, which we can't be in this life. But uh, unfortunately, her body is coming in defense aircraft today. That's what I have heard. Farrell trained Afghan officials on gender equality in Kabul. In her last mail to her colleagues, she wished them luck to keep up the good work. I, I would consider Martha a thoroughbred professional and uh, for the right cause, for the right, uh, uh, you know, justified point, she will uh, always uh, raise her voice. Speaking to her just before she was killed by the Taliban at the Park Palace Hotel, her husband recalls her fearless nature. I spoke to her uh, about 8.30 in the evening on Wednesday. She had finished her training that day and she was very happy and she didn't care about the risk. Park Palace Guest House in Kabul was a home to expats who were helping rebuild Afghanistan. But this attack that left four Indians among 14 others killed raises fear whether that hope that the Park Palace Guest House represented may be ending. With camera person Anthony Smitha Basu for NDTV.